Hey guys, this is Lego Boy1624 coming at you with another Lego tutorial. This time is a, is a tutorial on how to build a Lego snowplow. Ten parts. It's a relatively easy build. Uh, you'll need a one by two. Uh, I'm not sure how to describe it. It's a one by two like rocking plate thing. I'm not sure. And then you'll need one of these like satellite dish plates, two clear studs, two thin one by ones, two or one two by two rocking plate because it has a hinge on it, and that's what you need that piece over there for. A one by two. It doesn't have to be red, but it's the same thing with the rocking plate thing. Click hinge 2x1 and a click hinge 2x1. So, you want to start off by putting your satellite and this thing together, like that. Then you want to build your base of the plow because that's the plow itself so you need this piece like that and then you need your rocking plates together like that and then comes your one by ones and like I said they can be substituted for a one by two but I do not believe I have any and then your click hinges go on there like that and then your studs go on like this one second like that so it kinda looks like a bug sort of and then you take your plow and your base thing <clears throat> and put them together and there's your plow it rotates it's adjustable this way and you could use the click hinge for even greater adjustability <clears throat> and now for the good part how to put it onto this vehicle a Michu Studby Rugged Ranger and that's the name of it in Regopolis. Now, you need to take off the front end. That will be the easiest way to work with it. Take off your solid black cheese slopes. And your bumper. Now you're left with that. Now you put your... Now you need two more of those. They have to be one by one thin blacks. With or without the studs. It doesn't matter. And now you can put your cheese slopes back on. That's just to make getting the bumper off easier. And then you can put your front end back onto the truck. Just like that. And then put the plow on on those two extra studs. And there you go. There's your plow. I realize it kind of drags on the ground a little bit. But that's just to make sure it gets all the snow. And like I said, it's adjustable this way and this way. And you could use the click hinges, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. Because even though this model is pretty simple, it is also reasonably fragile. Now, I am also going to show you how you can put this same snow plow on a bigger and kind of badder, if you will, vehicle. <clears throat> Introducing the fire truck from the 2010 fire station set number 7208. All you have to do is take the grill off
and then put this back on. <clears throat> Take the plow off of the Jeep thing and put the plow on the fire truck. And there you go. There's your there is your snow plow on the fire truck. <clears throat> and that's where I originally had it, but then I realized I could probably use this truck. This set is eighty or eighty-five dollars. This set is twenty-five. This set is also retired on Lego.com. This set is not. This set you can get at Toys R Us, Walmart. I'm not sure about Target. Not at Kmart. This I believe you can only get at Toys R Us. And this is a limited edition. This I don't know. <laughs> so, and then you only have these two extra parts to deal with. And you could just kind of plop them in here or something like that. I don't know. That's what I did. But <clears throat> as in every video, I'm rambling. So that's how to make your Lego snow plow. If you haven't already, please check out my tutorial on how to build a Lego snow fort. And on my channel, there is a level crossing review for upcoming videos. I don't think that will happen. But it might, I don't know. I have a whole couple hours of video reviews and stuff that I could do and stuff, but most of it will probably be just be me doing homework. <laughs> so I have a stuff to do today. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> Lego City Snowplow tutorial. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe for more videos. Uh, check out my channel. Check out my other videos. Uh, I know I only have one video up, and that's my search story, and I think, never mind, this is it, rate, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, check out my channel, comment on my channel, comment on all my videos, give me advice, but not to stop rambling, but Anyway, just check out all my other videos and stuff in my channel, and yeah, I guess that's it. Anyway, uh, Lego Boy sixteen twenty four signing out. As I already said, like three times. Check out my other videos. Check out my stuff. Check out my friends and subscribers and subscriptions stuff so yeah that's pretty much it oh and also check out B Squackle Housen's blog it's it's really cool and if you haven't seen his video about random news and information and stuff like that he's posting secret videos on his blog and unless you go to your his blog and check it out you won't see the videos and there's already one up there. It was posted Wednesday. January 5th. So, anyway. <clears throat> I've been rambling for three minutes already. Rate, comment, subscribe. And LegoBoy1624 signing out for real this time. Bye.